Let's see how solid these things really are. Why does destroying tech always make me cringe and laugh uncontrollably at the same time? That's what YouTube videos are for, am I right? Hey guys, welcome to DIY in 5. I'm Trisha Hirschberger, and in this episode, we're talking about the different form factors of solid state drives, or SSDs. If this demystifies things a bit, don't forget to subscribe so you won't miss any of our upcoming PC upgrade episodes. So the time has come. You're here because you know about these magical little things called SSDs. They're supposed to make your system so quick it's like they've been created at Hogwarts. The lucky top! The first SSD we'll talk about is one you've probably seen before, the two and a half inch form factor. It's been around as long as notebooks have been popular, and when you think of a hard drive, this is probably what you imagine it looks like because it's the most popular size. If you're upgrading your laptop that isn't one of those super thin ultrabooks, this is probably what you'll need. For you PC builders, most cases today have handy mounts that will easily fit a few of these drives in your system. So what about our ultrabook users out there? With notebooks getting so slim and light, the regular size SSDs just won't do. That's where the M.2 size SSDs come in. Some people call them gumstick SSDs because of their shape, but trust me, they are not for eating. If you do have a desktop or notebook that takes this form factor, there are two things you'll need to keep in mind. The first option for M.2 is the length. They come in a few standard lengths. 60 millimeter, 80 millimeter, and 110 millimeter. Just make sure you don't get one that's too long for your system because it just won't fit. <laughs> that's what she said. <laughs> Our final option to consider for M.2 is what's known as the interface. There are two main types, SATA and PCIe. Most older systems only accept SATA SSDs, but some of the newer systems take PCIe or even both options. The main takeaway between the two is that PCIe will give you a faster SSD, but usually at a higher price. Finally, we'll get into our honorable mention form factors. These last three shapes and sizes are out there, but aren't nearly so popular. First up is the half height, half length, or HHHL. These are only for our desktop builders out there. If you have extra PCIe slots, you know, those slots that everyone plugs their video cards into, then this might be a good option for you. The good thing is these SSDs aren't as big and bulky as video cards, so they can usually fit in the open slots you have available. Next up is the MSATA drive. This is an older form factor that looks suspiciously similar to M.2, but don't be fooled, they are not interchangeable. If you've got a notebook or one of those smaller media center PCs from a few years ago, you might have MSATA inside. Last but definitely not least is the future of SSDs, the U.2. These look like our normal two and a half inch drives, but with a little more meat on the bone. Currently only servers and high-end systems support this form factor, but those that do should notice incredible speeds above and beyond other SSDs. So what burning PC building questions do you have? Let us know in the comments below. If you want to build a PC specifically for video editing, see what components we recommend in this video here. That's all for now. See you next week.